hello everyone welcome back to our channel today in this video let's discuss about the configuration aspects of odoo 15 document module so we can move to the module and then goes to the configuration menu here we can see the options like settings workspaces tags shares and emails and spreadsheet templates so first we can move to the settings here in the file centralization section, you can see a lot of options to enable like human resource, product, project, recruitment and the accounting. So here we can enable the human resource to centralize the employee's documents like contract and the payslip. And here we can define the workspace and the default tag. We can enable the product to centralize the files attached to the product. Here also we can see the option to define the workspace and the default tag. And when we come to the project, apart from the workspace and the default tag, can also centralize the spreadsheet. So it can be selected from the drop down menu or by clicking on the external link can define a new workspace here. And here we can also uh, enable the recruitment and the accounting. And here we can see the option to configure the journal. So while clicking on it, we will uh, direct into a new window here we can see the journals so if you want to create a new one you can click on the create and can provide the details here so we can save the changes before leaving the page now let's move on to the workspaces here we will get a preview of the already defined workspaces and here you can see the workspace tag categories company right groups and the rate groups here we can see the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. So to get a clear idea about it, you can choose a random workspace from here. And if you want to edit or modify the data, you can click on the edit icon available here. And here we can see the smart tabs like action and documents. So while clicking on the actions, you can see the already created actions here. And by clicking on the document smart tab, we will enter into the document dashboard. And here we can apply additional actions like duplicate the record or delete the record from the action menu. And if you want to create a new workspace, you can just click on the create icon. Here we can provide the name for that. Here we can choose the parent workspace. And also you can choose the company from the drop down menu. Here in the tag section, we can add the categories by clicking on the add a line option. So here we can provide the tag category. And also you can provide the tags by adding click by clicking on the add a line option. Likewise, you can also add the tooltip here. So after providing the details, you can save this. So it will be added here. Likewise, we can add multiple categories. And when we comes to the access right tab, we can provide the right groups and the read groups from the options available here. And also it is possible to provide a description for the new workspace. So you can save this. Now let's move on to the tags. Here we can see all the tags that have created along with the workspace category and the tags. Here also you can see the options like filters, group by and the favorites.
So we can save this. Now let's move on to the shares and emails. Here we can see all the share documents, links and the emails and it depicts the workspace name, share type, allows to create it by created date and also you can see the status or it is live. So to view the information in detail, you can click on the respective data. Here we have the option to copy the URL. Here we can see the name and here we can provide the valid until and here we can see the option to uh, upload by email and also can see the workspace here that is internal in the default values for uploaded document can see the document on our contact details and also can see the option to enable the create a new activity in the activity section can see the activity type so it can be chose from the drop down menu here can provide the summary and the due date can be set according to days week and month and here we can choose the responsible person and also can provide a note for it. Now let's move on to the spreadsheet templates. Here we can see all uh, see the already created spreadsheet templates and it includes the name created by created on and here we have the option to download the data and here we can see the option to add new spreadsheet edit it and make a copy. And it is also possible to download it from here. So the Odoo document module is packed with multiple features and advantages that will be enough to fulfill the requirement and the needs of the modern day business. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.